is a P3 one terabyte M.2 NVMe SSD by Crucial. Alright, so here's my main PC. It has a 500 gig SSD. And that originally was from this, and this is just a hard drive. So I want to put the 500 in the side PC and the one terabyte into this now. So let's unplug everything. Here's a big case now. And take this cover off. And these latches oh, to get the front bezel off. And this just folds open like so. Sometimes the M.2 spot varies on each computer, but this one is right by the RAM sticks. Um, by the front, if this was standing up, like here's the front USB ports. And right there is an old Kingston SSD, and there's a small screw right here. That holds this down. I'm using a small Phillips head screwdriver. So then the SSD comes up almost like a spring on it. And you just pull it straight out. You can set that down somewhere safe. And take that screw out. There is a small nub in here which will line up with this hole on the pins. Just so you can't install it backwards. But there's a thicker side on one side and that side usually goes up because these are the memory chips under the sticker. So then this is what it'll look like if you don't have an M.2 SSD installed. There's this post right here. Right here for a screw to go in. And this gray box where the pins go in. So you put it in at like a 45 degree angle. Just push it straight in, like so. Just push it all the way in, and see, it springs up. So that's where the screw comes in. So now I can just carefully fold this back. And then the back door goes on just like that. All right, now we just have a small form factor. It's a little more trickier because you have to take more things out. You unlock this hard drive with this lever, pull it to the left, pull our hard drive out, set that to the side carefully. Now to get this DVD drive out, we pull this end up and pull it out like this. And we can just set this to the side so we don't have to unplug it. So as you can see, it's actually facing the other way. Here's our little gray M.2. Put it in the slot at an angle, push it in until it goes in all the way, and push this down, and then put a screw in there. So then we can put it back together. Get our hard drive, which we need to plug it in. it goes in the right side of it first and then it just drops down and you can lock this back and there's a little slot right here a little cutout in this lock see so you can fit cables in there now before we can put the lid back on we gotta put the bezel in and now the lid Put it almost all the way on and it sits flush and then you just push it forward. Got that first try on both of them actually. And now let's boot them up, plug everything back in, put Windows 10 on the 
stupid PC. This one should be fine. It might default to booting off that hard drive, but we need to change the default to the SSD now. Alright, got everything plugged in, so I'm going to hit the power button and then spam the F12 key for Dell motherboards to get to the BIOS. And we are going to boot on the hard drive. Alright, it probably took me a good five minutes because hard drives are so slow. I just typed in Windows 10 in the search bar. I don't know why you can't see it on the camera. Click download now. Click on your download. Click yes. Accept the terms. Alright, now when you get to this page, you will get two options. Upgrade this PC now or create installation media on a flash drive, DVD, or ISO file for another PC. You're going to do that option. Flash drive. Hit next. There is no flash drive. Recognize. Plug it in here. Alright, probably after 15 minutes it came up with the dialogue and it just had me click finish when it said that my flash drive was ready. So I'm going to shut down the computer now. Now we're going to turn it on again. Interesting. What if we try booting off of that? Oh, that was a flash drive. Alright, went through some dialogues, and now I did a custom install, and I'm going to do the drive. It's unallocated, and that shows it's the terabyte SSD. I'm going to hit next. And easy as that. Right now it says the terabyte SSD is the C drive, or the main computer drive and our hard drive labeled as a D is our secondary drive. All right, now I hooked up the small PC and we're going to go to the BIOS and go to boot sequence. Right now it's as a hard drive at the very top, but we want to boot the Kingston SSD first. Hit apply, hit okay. Exit BIOS. Yeah, look how fast that was. Have a nice evening. See you.